Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Terraria. This is number two in the series, uh, modded Calamity and Thorium. So, you'll notice immediately, if you watch the last episode to the end, that we have some differences. I now have a roof on my house, uh, I have some more crafting tables, and I have a bed, uh, and some books. So, I'll quickly tell you how I did all that, as well as um, I, I went and found a house down here. I, I I just found a house there, and I found a house there. I didn't go into this house, I didn't even realise it was there originally, but this had ice skates in it. Uh, so that's where this is from. And I sold some stuff to get like 19 silver. 14, so it's not that much. So, here is where I got the books from, by the way. Because I would have had to go to the dungeon, and I didn't want to do that. I didn't actually get the heavy workbench from this guy. Uh, I actually went farming for a bit of lead. I'm not sure if I have any left. I think maybe like seven-ish bars. Okay, yeah, eight bars of lead left. But in this video, I think I'm going to go to explore down here because I've realized that this is actually a good way to go instead of this way. Although, is that... I think that's actually a house down there. So I think we'll do a bit of exploring in a snow biome and I'm also going to try and get past the jungle. Sorry, I'm going to try and get past the desert and the crimson. Over there. So I'm gonna start off immediately. I'll see you at the in in the snow cave thing. Yeah. My goal, by the way, for this is still to get some more movement accessories because sure I have ice skates, they make me not slide on this. Oh, well, I guess I do slide, but they make me not break this stuff, which is pretty useful actually. But I don't I still don't have Hermes boots, so when I'm not walking on anything so when I'm walking on anything but ice, it doesn't actually do anything. So there should there should be yep there is. Let me just block myself off so I don't get mauled by a wild bat because I'm still using a copper sword. And you know that's not the best. I see you. You can't hide from me. I'm more advanced. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't yeah, it wasn't actually a house, it was just some tungsten. I'm actually recording this by the way on the same day as I did the first one. So if you're seeing this, that means that either the video did well, or I wanted to post it. Okay, so I know that if I kill these ice bats, I can get something which can make some frost armor. Uh, it's maybe a frost... it's called a frost platform, I think, maybe? So I'll try and get it here. Ah, uh, yeah, icy shard, okay. So these make um, ice-themed stuff, so there's a sword, which I'm not going to be using, but... There is some armor, so that's 4 defense, 3 defense, and 2 defense. And I think that looks pretty interesting. So I'm going to see if I want to do that. Okay, I probably should have got the Shine Shoes buff from my other NPC. Um, so my other NPC gives you a buff if you press Shine Shoes. So he has a little tab. I'll see if I can put a picture on it. Picture on the screen. He, if you, if you like, press it, it gives you a movement speed increase and jump speed increase, I think. Uh, there's another icy shard as well. Oh my god, there's so many flinxes. And these all have a lot of health, so I think I'm gonna have to do something which doesn't involve <laughs> going down there. Ooh. That's not my ideal. Did they despawn? They did not despawn. Okay. I think I'm gonna wait until they despawn, actually. I think that's honestly my best bet. They might have despawned by now. Uh, apparently, apparently they actually have. But I'm just the worst luck ever, apparently. And I, I'm dead. <laughs> nice one. Okay, uh, I don't really want to stay on the surface too much. Because zombies and stuff, and I still only have a copper broadsword. Okay, my torch supply is replenished. Uh, this is slightly precarious. I don't really want to dive into something with like 15 zombies, but I guess I can't not. Uh, get away. Okay, that should be enough to not have them chasing me and murdering me. Okay, so I'm going to try and get somewhere underground quickly. Oh, that's a nice little little melee providency up. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, you're not. No, no, no. Desperate, desperate times, desperate measures. Ah, sh Okay, you know, that, that is unfair. There's like 15... How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... That's like... That's so dumb. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this is the other NPC I got, so you press Shine Shoes, it gives you a buff. It's, this is this NPC I'm pretty sure is from Thorium. Movement speed, run acceleration, and jump height, so that's all pretty good. And it gives you a bunch of really good boots. Like, all of these have really good buffs on them. 
So I might, I, I will get one of those, I think. If I can't get Hermes boots, then I'll, I'll get one of them. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, I sunk to the very bottom. No, I don't even have any glow sticks to help me. Okay, well, Chippy's coin trick did work. No! No, I don't like it when zombies predict your movement like that. That's a really unfair game mechanic. <laughs> no! Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. I think if this moon could just move a little bit faster, you know, maybe save my life a bit. But, because walking through with only a copper broadsword is really scary, actually. You know what? I think, yeah, it's it's time. No! Damn it! Go away! <laughs> this isn't fair! <laughs> I don't like it! Get away! No! Get away! Right, I'm safe. I'm safe. You know what, I'm gonna wait in my little camp for for nighttime. Be I mean, sorry, for daytime. Because I'm not exactly, uh, I'm not exactly fit to fight in this world yet. Okay, this is my chance, honestly. My one and only chance to get away. No, 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 you, you stay in there. Good zombie, good zombie. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? You know what, I need to explore while I can, because otherwise I am going to die. You know what, this might actually do it, never mind. Vultures are really, really, they're just a pain. A massive pain in the arse. So, you know, gotta stay away from everything, including that. Go away, go away. Yes, I'm talking about you, f*** off, ow. Ow! Come on. Right, I think I know what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm going to get a cactus sword because it is very slightly stronger than a, a copper sword and I'm also going to get a full cactus set just so I don't immediately die from everything that hits me and use up all of my healing potions I said that as I used up all my healing potions but you know, it's fine, it's fine go, go away, yep, okay, these things are deadly like deadly, deadly go away, please, no, 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 no go the f*** away go away, go away Go away. I'm not exactly in a good spot right now. I need to... I really need to work on my defense, my life, and my everything. And I, I'm not doing a very good job of that. So let me just check how much a full set of cactus armor would be. Okay, I definitely don't have enough. Immediately, I know that. But, we can say goodbye to 8 damage. We have 11. Ooh. Ooh, that is a lot better. Alright, good. Now that's that's dealt with. Oh yeah, I am the best, I agree. Okay, so what is this talon used for? Oh, right, so this is to summon the uh, Grand Thunderbird. Oh my god. Can we talk about how much these Wolfram things... They, that did 30 damage to me, I am so weak. <laughs> I'm just realising now that I'm so damn weak. No! Go and f*** yourself three times over. No! Get out! <coughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, hello everyone. For you, it will have been uh, about two seconds, but for me, it's the next day, and I've decided that I will not be going, uh, going in this direction, even though I think it holds great things for me. I'm going to be continuing on my journey in the snow biome which I did do at the start but you know I didn't actually get that far so I have a new new weapon it's uh, called a wooden saber and it's made with <laughs> it's made with wood this isn't actually part of any mod so I'm just making it just in case I might want it it's a bit like the Akalis but a slow version uh, so if you don't know what the Akalis is it's it's a sword with a cool animation in vanilla either way it's it's very good uh, and I use it almost all the time in my regular playthroughs yeah, so I thought it would be good to have a kind of B-Tech Arcalis, even if it's not that good. So as you can see, you know, it's it's not the greatest weapon. Uh, <laughs> doesn't really defend me at all. But it, it's something. Uh, and I'd rather just have it than not. Okay, well, all I had to do was spam click that, so, you know, not such a loss. Oh, shit. So I think most of the good stuff about the melee class comes later ga later in the game. So, honestly, this first bits of the game are going to be really, really tough for me. Uh, as, as you know, I've died a fair few times, uh, and I'd really like to not die anymore, but, you know, it's inevitable that I will. 
So I really just want to find some semi-decent weapons just to have, because otherwise I'm going to really struggle. Okay, I'm not making the same mistake as last time. Uh, yep, we build a rope down now. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, so the same thing actually happened again. And I now have multiple enemies here. But I, I did not... I did not die. Oh no, I am gonna die. Are you serious? No, die. <sighs> I'm safe. And I have flurry boots. That is a massive, massive plus. Oh yeah, I can run fast now. Okay, so that was one of our goals, actually, to have Hermes, Hermes boots, but these are flurry boots, they're the exact same thing. So that's a very, very good thing. I'm very happy that we got that. Uh, my next goal was to <laughs> have a kind of double jump, or cloud in a bottle, you know, like cloud in a bottle, sandstorm in a bottle, anything like that. It'd be very, very nice. And I see a Minecraft trail there, which I'm fa fairly sure... Okay, no, I didn't see that before, but I do see it now, so there's a minecart trail there. That's a very, very good thing. These are literally my like my lifeblood. Like, I, I cannot go without them. Oh, yeah. Cloud in a bottle. <laughs> this is this is turning out to be a very successful trip, if not a bit scary. Uh, you know, because of, the, because of all the mobs which are going to kill me if I don't block this off. Right. So, this minecart trail does go on, but I'm a put... So I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna continue on it. I'm gonna dig down and hope that I find some more stuff just to have. Ah, uh, more no. Oh, thorium, thorium. So this is the stuff I was talking about. This is thorium, um, thorium bars, or thorium ore at least, and it's really, really good for very early game stuff. So I'm gonna be looking forward to getting that. I'm really happy with how this mining trip is going. Even if I die, I won't be too... Oh, I will be fast. I have four gold. Okay, well, if things are looking... Things are looking dull. Things are looking bad. I will just teleport home. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no! Oh, I just lost three gold. And there's m even more thorium down there. Oh, that's a real shame. Ah, oh, well. I guess it's not... It's not all bad. It's fine. Um... Yeah, I, we, we, that was a very successful mining trip, I think. Okay, um, because I want to make an upgrade from my terrible, terrible, god-awful cactus sword, I'm going to be making a tungsten yo-yo. Because yo-yos are actually good. So, yeah, it's not that long. This is from the yo-yos expanded mod, I believe. It just adds a bunch of new yo-yos. Right, so another thing I'm going to do in this episode is build another house. Because this is really, really fun small. And I feel terrible about leaving it like this. So, uh, Also, I don't have the merchant and I'm running out of space for my crafting stuff. So I'll just mine a tree and I'll get right on that. So I'll cut ahead in the video to where I've built the main structure. And it should, yeah, I'll, I'll go from there. Alright, so as you can see here, the travelling merchant has just arrived. Uh, I'm not sure how big of a thing this will be, because I have about one gold to my name. But, we'll wait and see. Okay, so, <laughs> I guess all the suspense was kind of for nothing. None of this stuff I can buy, even if I wanted to, which I don't. I mean, I'd like to have the life or monetizer, because it's very useful, but I can always make it, because I have mods and uh, it's it's not too hard to make but anyway coming back to this house I've got a basic structure down it's a bit like a castle kind of thing but I wasn't really going for that uh, it's something like I made in a previous like let's play I guess you could call it that I've done uh, so I'll add the roof and I'll add the walls and I'll get back to you when that's done and I'll see how it looks if I don't like it then I'll I'll keep it because it it took a lot of time <laughs> uh, I'll see there uh, Alright, this is the house. I've finished it. All of these are suitable for NPCs to move in. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the middle part. It looks a bit dodgy, it looks a bit strange, but it's gonna be fine. Uh, I'm gonna be ending off the episode here, because it has probably been quite a while. I can't really judge the time that much, but I will have been recording for about an hour in total, and I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Tomorrow, 
uh, sorry, well not tomorrow, but next episode will most likely be getting some better weapons like the Amazon uh, possibly enchanted sword and hopefully the Star Fury. Uh, and would you look at that, it's just turned night. But, you know, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll probably decorate these NPC houses in my own time. Uh, I'll see you for another Terraria video possibly soon, uh, but it might, it might not be. I'll probably just continue posting my regular content. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.